Well, hello there, and welcome back to another video by Dukon. So here we are today, and we are going to be doing interiors. People have been asking, uh, they want to know how to make some nice interiors, how to make them functional, livable, purposeful, uh, all the etc. and above. So I'm going to show you guys, first of all, an example of a great interior, and, well, yeah, well, at least I think it's a, it's a great interior. And then I'm going to try to show you um, how to do a good interior. Right now I'm using Victor's Buy Hill plot, um, his this, uh, C plus bond for Raven. He's still building it, but I, um, I'm just going to show you the interiors because I want him to be able to show you the exteriors and all that good stuff. So anyway, here we are. This is the home of Dukon Red 1. And so you come in, and so first of all, uh, we want to make the interiors functional. So functional means um, that it's able to be used, basically. Functional is basically usable. Okay, so you come in. Um, all right, so we want to live here. Say that you and me want to live here. Uh, there needs to be a place to cook. I mean, if this is, if this is a normal house, of course, it's, this is a normal house. So there needs to be a place to cook. Um, there needs to be some water somewhere because, obviously, uh, I would be rather thirsty if there wasn't. A uh, table to cut the food up, maybe over here too. Maybe this is a little place to store their food. Chest, uh, you need some knives, obviously. Um, then you come in here, and then there's a fireplace, and there's a place to sit and eat. There's also a place to sit and eat upstairs too. Um, there's a little lounge seat here. Uh, some places to store some wine or, uh, yeah, whatever down here. Uh, some meat, food storage. So functional, livable are basically the same thing in a sense, but they're they're also fairly fairly opposite. I mean, not opposite, but fairly different. Uh, like livable means there needs to be uh, like make it so that you would want to live here. Like this, I would this would actually be a good place to live. I mean, if if it were me, I mean, it'd be dirty and all that stuff. But I mean, if I had to live in this era. I would want to live in this house because this house has, you know, all the conveniences that I would need and all that good stuff. Then you come upstairs, and then here's the actual dining room table, the place for the uh, family to sit and eat. There's only three that live here. Uh, well, it's actually four, so the fourth will just have to go sit in the corner or something. So anyway, uh, this is the kids' room. This is where the kids are. And uh, they have two little study seats, so like say if they have schoolwork to do, they have books there, and then they can study and do their homework. Their beds are over here, and then like lots of posters on the walls and stuff. And then they have all their storage up above. So like a kid's room wouldn't just have two seats and two beds. No, they need lots of storage, lots of spaces to put their toys and clothes. So they have toys there, um, a bucket there for something, who knows what. Some wood there for the fire. You know, stuff like that, you know, okay, you have a fireplace, all right, so you need wood or something, so you have to have wood close by, and so, like, for this room, I just put the wood right up there. It makes sense. So we close the door, let's go in here. All right, so this is the parents' bedroom. It's a bigger bed and all, it has, like, a nice little headboard, some books to pull out, it has a closet, a closet that they can open up, and, hmm, that's not supposed to be that, that's supposed to be the drawers, but, oh well. Uh, and they have some clothes in there and all that good stuff. And then they have some wood up here for the fireplace. And then there's a desk here for the parents to do their uh, work if they need to. And then there's some sand up there. I don't understand what's going on. I'm going around. I'm finding lots of random blocks placed everywhere. It's weird. I don't know. So, yeah, um, like this room is livable. Like I could live in here. It's warm. It's cozy. Nice bed place to study, all that good stuff. And then we head up the stairs, and so now, okay, we need some storage. We need a place to store all of our stuff, and so this is where the storage is. Um, <laughs> I think they misunderstood this. This is not supposed to be a fireplace. I think Victor came through here. and It's just supposed to be a... Wait. I'm confused. 
that's not supposed to be like that. Anyway, uh, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like this is a you know a um, stove that's there for um, storage, like it's being stored there. And then they have some spears here. Maybe the dad is just wants to be prepared for anything, so he has some spears upstairs. Two little beds to sleep in for the guests. And then they have nice little uh, firewood for um, for you know downstairs for the fires and stuff. But um, this would uh, have lots of mice and lots of like dirt in it and stuff. So that's that's a problem. But in this era, it's kind of hard to avoid that. So so yeah. Um, and then there's lots of pictures everywhere it's just to add detail. You need to add lots of detail to your interiors. It's very uh, difficult, I know, but it is possible to do so, like a little shelf space up there. Um, so just keep working on it. So now I'm going to actually show you how to do an interior. I'm going to try my best to. I'm not going to be able to do the whole thing with you, otherwise this video is going to be way too long. But I will uh, split into parts and explain what I did. So I will be right back. I'm going to be in another house. So uh, I'll see you soon. So here we are. This is the house that we're going to be filling up. And first of all, I want to show you around the exterior and show you uh, some things that I did to add some detail. Because the exterior is basically the interior, but it's just the exterior. Uh, I mean, it's the same basic idea as far as detailing goes. And so um, this is the part of the plot that I did. Um, like, Victor did this farm, and then I kind of wrapped it all the way around and did all the different, all the stuff around here. Um, and the farm up here and all that good stuff. So farms are, uh, that that's for another video or whatever. So we won't look at those too quick. Um, so anyway, so uh, these people, they need, um, you know, blankets and stuff. And so I thought, hey, uh, what if they have, say, a deer, deer here? And so that's a deer they just skinned and they're preparing to tan. And they have like a little tanner over here. So this is where they take the skin and stretch it and then they, uh, they prepare it and they make it into blankets and all that good stuff. And then they have clothes over here. These clothes are made out of cotton. Um, so, I mean, they're not made out of fur and all that, but maybe they're making, yeah, they're making blankets, so they're not making clothes. So the clothes are over here. They have a little clothesline. So that's just a little clothesline idea. It's kind of hard to not make clotheslines bulky because of the whole um, connection thing between blocks and the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the iron bars. So I just decided it was best just to make it bulky like that. Um, so anyway, they have a little pig pen out here. This is a little place. Uh, so the pigs need a place to eat. So there's their eating trough. They have a little place to um, drink water, and they have a place to sleep and stuff, and they have a, way, a place to wallow in the mud, because pigs like the mud. So yeah, they have a little place to make a bit in the mud. Uh, here's a little dog house, obviously. Um, it's at the front door, so say if the people that live here, they have a dog to fend off the predators and all the other bad stuff. Maybe they have a few cats around, but I don't know how many cats or cat houses or anything. Because cats don't have houses. They just go somewhere and sleep, like in the hay. They sleep in the hay. So yeah, there's cats in the hay. Um, so anyway, this is the little uh, shed where the horse would go or the cow or whatever that um, uh, would provide the family with a uh, lucrative... Um, asset. Uh, cows, horses, donkeys, mules, you know, mules and donkeys are probably kind of the same thing. But anyway, uh, this is where that the, that animal would stay. And um, you come around, there's lots of farms and like even a wheelbarrow like this where they're digging out dirt, little piles of dirt in the middle of the field. Um, <laughs> even a little grave. Rest in peace, Fido, the best darn dog of this side of Bi Hill. Um, and then you come over here, and here's a little outhouse. Uh, obviously, you'll need that. And then here's some logs, say, that were put here uh, to build a house, but they didn't need them, so they have them just sitting there. And then here's some, like, uh, berries or, yeah, something like that. So, but yeah, that's about that. And so now I'm going to show you the basic design of the interior. So we come in. All right, so we have, the first of all, this is the basement floor, or the... Uh, the bottom floor, and this is where the uh, like kitchen and all that stuff will go. And then we head up the stairs, and this is where the living area is going to be. This is where all the uh, 
you know, the, the table and all that good stuff is going to be, and you come up more, and this is where all the storage and bedrooms are going to be. So obviously this house is going to be kind of small because, I mean, there's, not, there's hardly much you can fit in it, but I hope I'll be able to show you guys step by step how to do it, and hopefully we'll get somewhere. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start down here, and then I'll uh, be right back and show you guys what I've done. All right. Alright guys, I just finished the interior and I'm going to show you guys what I did in order to do so and why I put certain blocks where I did. Alright, so when we come in here, this is what you first see. It's just a uh, kitchen area slash eating area. I sort of changed things up um, where they were placed on the, on, in the house. So, first of all, it's a uh, four person table. Uh, they're all they all sit here for dinners and stuff, and then they have a uh, place to play some solitary there and um, candle, obviously. And then they have some pots and stuff. Uh, so obviously the family needs some pots, so there's some pots and pans, and they have a chest to put there some food and stuff there too. A little wash basin to wash the pans and get fresh water from um, when they haven't already washed the pans in. And this is a place to store it. Like say this is like a bunch of shelves here. And this is where they would store spices and herbs and dried food and stuff like that. And then here is a little uh, kitchen area. This is where they would make the food. They would cook the food here. And it reminds me, I need to put some, actually I got some firewood, but yeah, I got some firewood out there. So the firewood's outside, right outside the door. And so in this house, there's only one fire, there's only this one furnace here. So, um, yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and head up. So yeah, this is a very functional interior for down here. It's the kitchen place to eat, um, all the all the needs for a family, and there's, you know, the rest of the needs are outside and stuff. And so then, then you come up here, and then there's, there we go, there's this room. Hold on. Ah, it's annoying. There we go. So we close this up. Uh, this is the parents' bedroom. This is where the uh, parents are, obviously. They have a nice little place to sit here. Uh, they have a nice little view. Some clothes hanging up there. So then that's that's you know their clothes and stuff. They have a chest up there for storage and drawers and stuff. They have books, more drawers there. So quite a bit of storage in here. Uh, not as much as I would have liked, but it's it worked out fairly well. So yeah, that is the. Oh my goodness. Whatever. Just forget it. Um, so anyway, this is the little hallway. They have a little storage area here. Maybe the parents store some stuff here too. It's like little trinkets and stuff there. And you come up here, and then this is very, very livable. Um, the heat that would uh, would tr like it, 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 blah, 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 blah. tongue tied. Um, the heat would rise up the stairwell, the stairways, and then, so that's how it would warm up this this area here. And this is where the kids would sleep. Two kids. <laughs> it's, it's usually always two kids, actually. I always make two kids, so I, I should change that up. But anyway, this is their uh, room. They have a little place to sit here. They have a chest. And then here's, just, you know, lots of family storage up here, uh, like baskets and stuff, and some notes up here, some books to study. Um, I mean, it's not very it's not very comfortable up here, but it is, it is a functional kids' room uh, for this era of time. Um, when you're making an interior, make sure that it's purposeful. Um, make sure that you purposely place things. Make sure it's not just like clutter of stuff. Uh, like always think about what you're placing, why you're placing it, and make sure it's there for a reason. Not just there to, um, for placeholder. Like not just piles of crates everywhere. No, we want to see purposeful. Like these crates are there because this is storage. This is where they put uh, this, you know, the storage is obviously in the attic, and it's not just this big pile of crates on the whole wall. It's just three little crates there, and then a chest, and yeah, a chest up there and stuff. So yeah, that that works out up here. Um, yeah, just make sure it's purposeful. Make sure you know what you're placing and why you're placing it there, and also make the uh, living area livable. So this is a completely livable house. Um, make sure it's functional. Make sure that it's. Um, it works. Usable. So we're going to go out here. So, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Uh, uh, it's the, probably the best way that I can explain interior. Um, I hope that it was helpful. Um, I don't know. I don't know if, I, if this was really uh, 
you know, tutorial-ish, uh, because, uh, you know, there's just, there's just lots, I mean, I, I think it's more, interior just comes as, or it just comes, um, as you go along and as you build along. So I, I really hope that this was uh, beneficial for you guys, and I hope that in the future that I'll be able to be more clear and be more precise on um, like how to use how to do interiors and stuff. But it's just it's just so various, and it's just so there's just so much to interiors that you know it's just it's kind of hard to explain it in just one video. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you liked the video, please like, and uh, if you want to see more. Uh, please subscribe. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys uh, come back soon, and I'll be sending out some more videos in the future. And um, I've been playing a lot of Skyrim lately, so I've been kind of preoccupied at the time. So anyway, see y'all around. Bye bye.